So I'm looking forward to, to getting hands-on experience with a lot of the techniques that are used. Also to help with my own mop project of, I'm doing a fish study, so I, wanted to, I need to learn the proper techniques for, for a fish survey. I think just the diving, being able to do scientific diving. I mean, you know, I just go recreational diving, never did anything about surveying a reef or anything. And I think it'd be a cool experience, good, good experience for me when I finish, I get to, my, you know, have opportunities to do research of some sort with whoever. Learning about how to survey the ocean and the reefs and the coral reefs and actually my senior thesis is going to involve a lot of, hopefully, some of the methods that I learn in the next weeks. So the Marine Option Program uh, has the opportunity to reach out not only to young people, uh, but to people of every age, uh, whether they be citizens and residents of Hawaii or visitors to Hawaii, uh, to get uh, education and maybe even certification uh, in the marine sciences. And it only helps our total education of the world around us. We try to prepare students for the, the real world, world regardless of the, their uh, their walk of life and um, to take their classroom learning and uh, apply it to real world situations. The Marine Option Program played a very important role there because I, I walked into uh, the marine option program not really knowing anything about any of this stuff but just having a, a, a real big interest. A little bit nervous but I'm anticipating I'm really excited about it. I think it'll be good because there's a lot of mixture. There's people that are just starting out and people that are really experienced. So you're marking down okay. that tree is somewhere along the transect. Sort of at 160, maybe not. I think the doorway is a good one. Okay. Yeah. Probably like, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. That's the distance, so it's just black and black. Oh, okay, wait, it's just 30 now. We have to keep it between 60, 60 and 120. Yeah. The quest was a good way for me to learn a lot about the reef environment and how to help protect it. and. Uh, it uh, got me in the water, it gave me practical experience, and uh, gave me real skills. What we are giving them, I think, is a complete experience from the beginnings of learning uh, the methodologies, learning some of the theories and the, and the science behind what we're doing and why we're doing it. QUEST is an, an acronym for a workshop and course that we run that stands for Quantitative Underwater Ecological Surveying Techniques. Basically, it's a full-time, two-week, three-credit course based out of our UH Hilo program that teaches students the principles and practices of how to survey coral reefs. They really do get the complete package and, and just the taste of what it is. And at that point, they can take what they've gained from Quest and go off and do almost anything that they want and uh, ultimately benefit from it. And also, we want to start on the Naka side on the, line, on the land side. And just beware everybody because this transect is like literally right on the edge of the drop off and so you can just not pay attention for a few seconds and be down at 50 feet. So just watch your depth gauge. It saves things as projects which saves all of the worksheets, all of the graphs, and all of the stuff you haven't inadvertently deleted in one file. It's my hopes for them is that they get out of it what they want. Um, the students that come through here all have such a varying background and they have so many varying hopes and interests. I'm from Nicaragua. Yeah. I, I learned about uh, this uh, program uh, through a friend of mine that was working uh, in Nicaragua for a project there last year. Ten. Ten. At the beginning. You're going 10, to, ten, ten to zero. zero. Last. That would be the last, okay. Yeah. You just have to remember that we're running the transect backwards. Yeah, exactly. You learn all these different kinds of sampling techniques on the reef, it includes uh, looking at the, the invertebrates, looking at the fish, um, trying to determine what the uh, percent cover of, of the bottom habitat is, all sorts of things and different methods in, in doing these. Hawaiian Islands are one of nature's most vivid treasures. 
with majestic volcanic landscapes and welcoming ocean waters filled with life and wonders. The closeness of the sea and its endless marvels form an intimate part of life in the islands, inspiring awe, respect, and a desire to learn about the compelling beauties and mysteries of the ocean. Every year, students from around the globe come to the University of Hawaii at Hilo to participate in the two-week quest program. They join a positive environment and learn about their natural surroundings. As host for the annual training program, the university campus provides support for classroom lectures and activities, student life, and preparation for exploring the underwater world around the Hawaiian Islands. They also have to, of course, have their scuba certification, CPR, and first aid, and go through a, a preliminary screening by the UH Diving Safety Program. And Sonia will be checking out any equipment, like dive weights, if you need weights for your, your weight belts, regulators, BCs, anything you need like that. You need to pick it up with, from Sonia first, and she'll log it out for you. Then you need to go to see Brian Hawk. Brian has uh, the database and will ch would, needs to check with each of the divers to make sure that we have all the documentation that we need. Do you have enough weight? Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. I'll and then if you have your stuff here, the bottom stuff will be. The only thing I need is a wetsuit. Wetsuit? Yeah. Check out. That's what I have here. Are you using the. Uh, your own BC and the reg? No, I'm, I'm from the streets, babe. Okay, but you have your own BC. <laughs> the first uh, four days are spent at the UH Hilo campus, uh, pretty much in lecture format. Um, they learn uh, a little bit about coral reef biology. Um, some of the principles of human surveying of, of coral reefs. And that is inspiration. You've got to have inspiration. You guys are here because you're inspired about reefs, and that's really important. This work is tough. It's hard to get money to survey reefs, but we have to do it. Reefs are disappearing rapidly. It's a big part of the lecture today. And we need basic information. That's what Quest is about, collecting basic information to understand reefs. The essence of this course is to provide basic information about the reefs in the state of Hawaii, and we need a trained core to be able to get this information. And without that, we have no idea what's going on in the state of Hawaii. And we really don't, even now. And Quest is just the beginning. So I want them to realize that not only is this important, but it's also a really fun way of learning about the environment, about learning how to conduct coral reef monitoring, about learning how to work together as a team. Can we get down there? If I'm having, uh, if there's something that I'm not sure of, I'm going to point to the slate and uh, or to the object and to the slate, and okay. you can help me out. Sure, no problem. Great, and I'll do the same for you if you're stuck on something. I'll be right there. All right, great. Being able to hang out with a bunch of great people and uh, you know, learning a lot of things from them as well, sharing experiences. So. They should go on to the uh, bolts. Yeah. Because um, I've seen at several one people end. tie, okay, the, the zero in then, okay, the if they'll fit onto the bolt, and then you should all be right here at five meters. So what's just okay. marking with the pen? Yeah, we'll take on the red flag in here. Yeah. No, that's not. 25 is not in between 38 and 42. And these are roasting. No, going for 45 minutes, so you have to be between. Yeah, but we're going up 35 feet. So Anything in that column. Oh, we're on the 25 foot this time? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. So this one is right. There. I remember doing a very similar field program when I was an undergraduate, and my interest just was to get out there with the animals, and a lot of the people don't get a chance to do that because they come from some school where they're far in inshore or... Uh, they're any, not anywhere near a tropical reef. So my interest for them is that they get what they want out of it so that they can progress to where they want to go. On the west coast of Hawaii Island, Puoko is known for the traces of some of the first people who came to these shores. What we're standing in the middle of here is uh, basically a trail that was a trail that went from Kiholo Bay 
over toward Puaco, where our first east and west dive sites were. And right in the middle here, uh, most likely a uh, stopping point for travelers, is an incredible petroglyph field. Here's a particularly fascinating one right up in here, this, uh, this area. You can see a gentleman right here. Nice figure with two arms, his legs. So that kind of translates on into Hawaiian culture as well. Today, the ocean here is home to one of the most pristine and bountiful coral reefs in the Hawaiian Islands. Upon entering the waters at Puoko, the students in the Quest program enter a new world of beauty and scientific inquiry. They learn to appreciate the uniqueness of the natural wonders around them and to explore the many lessons that await in this amazing underwater classroom. So there are two dives a day for five days and uh, you're broken up into teams. I think it's six teams of anywhere between four and, and six people per team and uh, you do your dives and you apply these different transecting methods. Through cooperation and teamwork, Quest students directly participate in important scientific investigations. The two-week training program teaches methods and techniques which answer questions about the fish, coral and algae that live in the Hawaiian waters and how they coexist. Past research has shown that human impacts have changed significantly the Hawaiian reef communities. Continued research measures these impacts and finds solutions to support positive relations between us and the irreplaceable oceans of the world. Quest introduces students to this living underwater museum of natural wonders in Hawaii. And after you're done with that, uh, and you take your data, then you pile back in the van and go to the other side, back to Hilo. And uh, when you're in Hilo, you take the data, and each team has a different project, a different paper that they have to write. Returning to the university campus, students use the latest computer technology to confirm and analyze their scientific observations. You may do either the methods and materials, statistical analysis, or the discussion. Discussion or methods and materials, that's fine with me. Okay. Well, the scientific method is a procedure that was designed literally to be able to create a repeatable way of perceiving the environment. We all perceive the environment in different ways. We all have different biases, whether they're cultural or personal or family. We see things differently. The idea of the method is to have some systematic procedure of going through and asking questions about the natural world where we can get answers regardless of who's doing it, things that other people can repeat. Because the idea is if there's truth in nature, we should all be able to find the same results given the same set of, of questions and procedure. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, go. The abundance of coastlines in the Hawaiian island chain gives way to a vast assemblage of coral reef ecosystems. Yet much of our reef communities remain relatively understudied and understood. Programs such as Quest, quantitative, under quantitative underwater ecological surveying techniques, run through the University of Hawaii Marine Option Program, train qualified divers and biologists techniques, which will aid in the long-term assessment of coral reef management. Based on all the uh, statistical uh, data that was gathered in the field and that also was compared with the previous uh, Quest courses of 2000, um, observer error is another bias. Um, from person to person, it varies in surveying abilities and also influential factors on results. We're giving students the tools to go on and become the next generation of scientists. 
and to be good scientists, they have to tell the truth. So we try to give them that, and I think by and large, the, 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 that works. Most of them leave that way as honest. I would like to see every UH graduate have uh, a marine learning experience. I see this training as very important, as very uh, applicable to what's happening around the world, and giving them the ability to also um, move into many different positions and opportunities as research scientists, uh, and in particular in the marine environment. Teaching the students about this and having them become aware of the problems that we have here in the state is really important to keep this momentum going and hopefully to have more people become interested in the issues. Uh, here you have the most of both worlds uh, and the best of both worlds happens to sit in the middle of the Pacific Ocean uh, where you can have an extraordinary opportunity uh, to study not only the water in and around uh, 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 Hawaii uh, but also in my mind what I consider to be the continent uh, of Oceania. Uh, 600 times more water than land stretching from here uh, to New Zealand. Uh, and that to me in Polynesia is an extraordinary opportunity. The Quest program offers an intimate learning experience like no other. Through organized teamwork and scientific analysis, students take an active role in understanding the future of the ocean environment.